Hey guys, Steven here. It has been some time. <laughs> it really has. Like, <sighs> but there's been some I've wanted to like talk to y'all about. I've been deciding whether I should do this or not. I'm just gonna get right into it. It's really cold out here. I don't want to be out here for too long. But behind me, well, let's try to get a little bit close. Yeah, there we go. Behind me is my dad's 2008. Ford Expedition. It has not ran in over a year. A few days ago, my dad kind of gave me a little offer for me to like buy it off of him. Because I remember I told my parents so I, I wouldn't mind getting another Expedition. And he was like, buy this one. I'll sell it to you for like $1,500. Is $1,500 a good price <laughs> I've been kind of thinking about it I'm not sure if I want to do it, it it's going to need a new engine but at the same time if I buy a new engine for it it's a good chance it'll run like very well or just be crap just like this engine that's in it <sighs> I mean, I'm having a hard time deciding over it I decided to make a video asking y'all what I should do I'm also going to make poll on Instagram whether I should buy it and revive it or just scrap the idea of find something else that runs so yeah just please let me know in the comments yeah it's pretty filthy too I'm not gonna lie it's been sitting in this spot for over a year since August of 2021 in it. Has a, has a code. I know the code. I'm not going to tell y'all. Expedition. It's a spare tire. The actual uh, tire for that one is actually in there, but oh well. Like I said, I'm, I'm just leaving this up to y'all guys. I don't really know what to do. I, I'm probably just not even going to do this project. To be honest, I just feel like I need I could find something better that some that actually runs, not like this one. I've been looking on like Facebook Marketplace stuff like that. And like I said earlier, it was my dad's daily driver till it quit on him, and this is actually his new daily driver, a Ford Sport Track. I kind of like it. It's a good little size if you want something small. At the same time, I. I kind of like the size of the F-150. And don't worry guys, that one's not going anywhere. That's a good road trip vehicle. I need that, I need that truck for when I go to Blue Ridge and stuff like that. Oh, speaking of Blue Ridge, got a Blue Ridge Georgia hoodie on, which I mainly covered up because it's kind of chilly out, which actually isn't that bad in the sun. But like I said, please let me know if I should do this or not. Like. Half of me wants to do it and revive it. Half of me just wants to like find something better. It also has four wheel drive, which I'd love to drive it in like bad weather so I don't have to like risk damaging the F-150. And if I do get an expedition with four wheel drive, it's not gonna be the off-road vehicle. I, I think I'm kinda like leaning towards the Ford Ranger to do like off-road then just because it's a little bit smaller and would be easier to maneuver around in, like, woodsy area. Anyways, just please let me know in the comments what I should do. Don't be upset if I don't do it. To me, it just makes more sense to just get a newer, or not a newer one, but one around that, that year and just, you know, have a running one, if that makes sense to me, or if that makes sense to y'all. Like, I, I just wanna kinda go that route. I right, just, please be sure to subscribe, be sure to thumbs up this video. Thumbs up and my videos, get your friends to watch my channel, get them to subscribe. I don't know when the next video for this channel is gonna be. Cause it has been <laughs> a little bit, but it's kinda hard to, to 
film with just one vehicle. But yeah, just let me know in the comments. Or just let me know on my little poll on Instagram. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one.